Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with us play Banjo Tooie on the Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, last time, we finished up everything we could do in uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land, and we got lucky on the last five notes. Uh, the only thing we did not manage to do was beat that uh, cheating bitch, uh, Mary, um, for her final Cheeto page. And so I came down here to try to enter um, the jukebox code, which uh, fixes the jukebox in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Let's see, listen to the music of the game. Uh, and how you do that is you press, you enter Cheeto, and then you enter the code that you want backwards. So if it's, well, for the uh, spellbook, you enter backwards. Um, for other codes, I think you can enter them in regularly. Uh, there's one that makes Banjo fast, one that makes the enemies fast, one that gives you infinite health, uh, like permanent infinite health. Um, I don't remember the other ones, but apparently even using the Cheeto book uh, pages, uh, cheat like that, that will still disable saving and stuff like that. And as I want to actually save my progress when I finish the game, I'm just gonna not do it. Um, if you guys really want to hear the music of the game, uh, let me know, and I'll make a bonus episode where I stand in front of the jukebox and listen to all the tracks in the game for you guys. Since I don't have any bonus episodes planned for this LP, since uh, well, multiplayer, I don't think multiplayer is on Xbox Live for this. I think it is co uh, couch co-op. Um, and most of my friends don't have uh, Banjo 2 on their Xbox Live Arcade, so yeah, that's not going to work. So if you guys want that as a bonus video, cool. If not, then I just won't bother with it. But either way, we came here to the Cheeto Chamber, as I like to call it, to do a few things. Uh, first off, we want to take off the automatic energy regain so we have a fair run total fight. And um, I think that's it. I mean, if we fall in the battle and we don't lose any health, that's good enough, I guess. Um, it's more of a downgrade than anything to take off the maximum feathers and eggs because then you only have a whopping 10 freaking uh, clockwork eggs and we may or may not need those I don't know um, energy loss from falling like I said I don't care that's gonna stay on cheeky wiggy temples not like that it's gonna affect anything and enable home and eggs yeah I'll keep it I don't care I like it so we turned off the infinite health so now we're mildly less than vulnerable <laughs> So, with any luck, we can polish off Gruntilda tonight and not have to worry about her later. So, well, what do you say we go for it, shall we? We already took care of her minion clung, though. And, with any luck, it's just a straight-up fight. Or we might have another, uh, Or we might have another board game, which would be pretty awesome, actually. I thought that was kind of cool. I liked that from the last game. I thought it was fun. It's just my personal opinion, but... If you guys don't like it... Oh, well, I thought it was a... Uh, cool prelude to the final boss instead of just a bunch of cutscenes they actually tested you on how much you paid attention during the game even though some of those uh, um, where have you been uh, panels were bastard they would take a picture of Mumbo Sud and say hey which Mumbo Sud is this and you'd have to guess and if you got lucky good for you and if you didn't well you sucked so some of those were bastardly dastardly move on their parts and others were not that bad. Are you get off him? Okay, there we go. Kazooie, let's go up here. And we can enter Gruntilda's castle, tower, whatever she wants to call it. I don't know. Cauldron Keep Secret Exit. Secret Exit. There we go. And we got all 90 jiggies, so we're going to check out whatever the... Uh, bonus thing in the cinema is, so we'll check that out later. And I think I figured out the, the way you're supposed to get in here. You're probably supposed to glide over here with Kazooie and then use Banjo's um, move that we learned in Cloud Cuckoo Land to get over the lava right here, but eh, we were able to double jump and flip flap and all the other stuff over here, so we did pretty good getting in here. Okay, well now we got a Tower of Tragedy quiz. Okay, yeah. I forgot about this because I exited out of it as quickly as I could last time. So, okay, thank you, thank you. I'm Grunty, your host, and may I welcome you to my Tower of Tragedy quiz. Let me run through the rules for you all. There are three rounds of general knowledge questions, and the person with the lowest score at the end of each round will be eliminated. Correct answer is score two points. 
with one point being worded if it was a second guess following the incorrect answer from another contestant. Okay, sounds easy enough. Get one wrong and I'll take two points away. Okay. Press X to buzz in and then A to answer. Okay, so it's like Jeopardy. You gotta hear the question and then press the button before the other fatties and skinnies do it. Victims. Let's meet our victims. I mean, contestants. Introducing on the left is my gorgeous slim sister Mingella. Um, slim? Yes. Gorgeous? No. On the right we have my lovely, er, uh, <laughs> shapely Bob Bella. Well, she's certainly shapely, just not the shape that I prefer. In the middle, just some loser bear called Banjo. And one gets tunned. Okay. Let's look at the screen. Okay, a diaper guy. So... What's the question? What's the question? Who is that? Um... Actually, I know this. this is, that's Mr. Pants, actually. Uh, I, looked, I, I saw that in like a, whatchamacallit, a, uh, a thing on the game site. Okay. I know where it's at. That bridge is in Spyro, uh, May Mayhem Temple, actually. Fantastic, fantastic. Here's a scene from the game. Okay. There's a fan, and there's a... Waste disposal plant area. How many small fans did you see? Um, I think there were six actually. Okay, so we gotta look for the little stuff in this thing. Gotcha. What was Maya Hem Temple's treasure chamber official looking for? Um, the priceless relic thingy. There we go. Yeah, I'm a know it all. We got eight points, they got zero. Here's a scene from the game. Blah blah blah. Ooh, running shoes. I'm not sure where that is, but that's probably what she's going to ask. So she's dashfully and bashfully. What type of footwear are these? Those are the turbo trainers. Is this going to be a sweep? Um, oh, well, we're blocking the vents in Grunty's industry sewer systems. That was the clinkers. We're doing pretty good. I guess the sisters aren't all that bright. Hey, it's, um, uh, 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 Pono. Alright, buddy, what do you got? Where is this? That is Pono's Emporium. And I notice we have a set amount of time to answer the question. That probably counts as the wrong answer if you don't answer right. So yeah, I see the kids, Soggy, Moggy, and Groggy. And what color was the duet nearest the camera? That was... Yeah, it was Banjo and Kazooie pattern. What spell can Mumbo not perform? He cannot perform... Okay, he perform... He perform... I don't think he can perform Earthquake, because he performed Rain Dance and Cloud Cuckoo Land and, uh, uh... Sunlight and, um... And, uh, what should we call it? Uh... Jollies. How many chimneys does the factory have in front of it? I think it had two, didn't it? Okay, they don't answer very much, but when they do, they get it right. Take a look at the screen scene, okay, blah, blah, blah. Ezra, something, something, something. That's a lot of letters. That would be in the code room. Very good, very good. And I think we're almost finished. Ooh, we're done. We did pretty damn good, actually. My sister Mingella has set a new standard of dumbness. <laughs> Good Mingella. The hopeless score of two. <laughs> Time to say goodbye, Minji. Bye bye. Oh wow, she actually crushes her own sister. That is ruthless. Witch gets squished. Round two. I like the way this game goes. I like the first one better. Um, okay, she was asking about the doll and the alien kid had, I guess. Here's a scene from the game. Treats, fatty chocks. See? Which world? That was Cloud Cuckoo Land. Okay, good, good, good. What number question is this on my list? Um, 166? No, I guess not. So I'm back down to zero. Oh. 
Okay, that's... That's fucking bullshit, because there's no way the... Which of these is one of bottles of kids and goggles? That's bullshit, because there's no way I would have been able to know what color, whatever question that was, so it's obviously a little bit of cheating going on here. Let's see, um... Ooh, that was in, uh, whatchamacallit, that was in... Uh... Place. What color is the rat's helmet? It was yellow, I know that much. So we gotta answer quickly, and I noticed the whole question didn't come up. That'd be me. Yeah, I noticed the whole question didn't come up, so... Um... A witchy world of Anne, okay. Yeah, the whole question didn't come up if you ring it early, so you have to be careful about that, I guess. Let's look at the screen. Hey, we were just here, weren't we? Guff beans. The gramophone record was... Um... Blue. Okay, I failed, I guess. Oh, I, did, I guess I didn't press it in time? Oops, okay. How many tickets are required to get into Witchy World's big tent? That was three, actually. What? I thought it was three. You son of a bitch. Okay, I'm not doing so good this round. Here's a scene from the game. Blah, blah, blah. Um, aliens. Come on. What color were the three monsters' heads? Uh, they were... Um, green, blue, and red. There we go. I'm tied, I'm tied. What had Pterodactyl Lance Nasty Uncle Kimmy stolen? Um, a gold relic. Perfect, perfect, perfect. What is a combination of that? I know that. That was 1984, and there we go. I think I won. Barely. Oh, that was fast. That was close. I also failed to beat that dumb bear. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Here's your constellation prize of a... of an anvil to the head. Bye bye, chubby. Changing the rules for the final round. I was about to say, who am I going to compete against in the round three? To make it harder, I won't show you the answers unless you buzz in. So, if I don't know the answer, I'll let you press LT or RT to pass and move on. Okay. I'll set a nice little score for you to beat. Okay, sounds easy enough. So, if there's a question I don't know, just pass it and try to get to the score that she sets. Fantastically easy, hopefully. It's the final round. Banjo lost or Grunty Squash? What shape is the TV in the game selection screen? Um, let's see, that was... Honeycomb shaped. Let's see, what is Targetan the Mayan god of? He was the god of uh, target shooting. Tiddlywinks? Yeah, I don't think so. Which of these areas is found in Mayahem Temple? Uh, let's see, we got... Targetan's almost a sacred chamber. I think he also had a slight, slightly sacred chamber. Slightly sacred chamber. What tool attacks Banjo and Glurgle's mind? That was the, um, the Shovel Bastards. Okay, I gotta get 15 points in these. How many ways are there in Cloud Cuckoo and Central Cavern? Um, I'm gonna say, like, 12. Cause there was, ooh, that was a lucky guess. And no, I do not have, like, a list of the answers. Funny. What is the name of Cloud Cuckoo Land's athlete? That was Mr. Fit, that little bastard, even though I should call him Mr. Fat. But yeah, no, I don't have a list of the answers. I'm not cheating like that. I'm just getting really lucky on some of these guesses. What mine-related feature is not found in Glitter Gold's mine? Um, I don't think there was a drill in there, was there? So I know we had the power track and the generator. How do you travel to Cloud Cuckoo Land? Ooh, the bubble. And in through a tunnel, technically. Where would you find a big oil drill? Um, that would be in Hailfire Peaks, the icy side. Which of these worlds has the most letters in its name? Uh, Maya have Pterodactyl Land. What is the name of Pterodactyl Land's two rival caveman tribes? That was the uh, Unga Bungas and Oogaboogles. There we go. What is the name of Sky High World 8? You're asking a lot of questions about Cloud Cuckoo Land, aren't you? 
Fair enough. How heavy is the weight above your stupid head? Gee, I don't know. One ton. There you go. Who are the similar looking arch enemies of the Jinjos? Oh, those are the Minjo bastards. The Dimbos. There you go. The Bum... The Bumjos? No. Fair enough. Blah, blah, blah. What is the name of the giant pterodactyl? The pterodactyl. That was, uh, Terry. Since it's, you know, Terry Declan. Why did Lago... Oh, he was clogged. Let's see. He needed, uh... Blocking. What is wrong with the dinosaur who lived in the lake inside? Oh, he's albino or something like that. Uh, uh, stomach cramp. There we go. I thought he was talking about the thirsty one. What is the name of the pond broker? Oh, that's easy. That was a uh, Pono. Alright, can I get more questions right? What giant footed. Ooh, that was a Stompadon. I can tell that already. Stephosaurus. There you go. One more. What is Mr. Patch announced as in Witchy World? He was, um, strange, wobbly, inflatable thingy. Ooh, I got 36 points. Not too shabby. I doubled the score needed. Fantastic. And she thought I lost, but I didn't. Oh, it has to be broken since I win, right? Well, if he gave me tougher questions, I might have lost. What do you mean, faulty equipment? You don't know what you do because of the faulty equipment. You could escape in a cowardly fashion like in Banjo-Kazooie before we kick your bony butt. <laughs> yes, I could. Thanks for the brain. <laughs> there you go. I like how the game doesn't take itself too seriously here. Fortunately, I built a rocket into my booth for this very reason. I'll be waiting for you at the top like last time. Gotcha. This time you'll be the ones taking the. Hey, I. I've died several times in the last uh, boss fight against you. You're a tough old hag. I'll give you that. All right, so let's follow the. Uh... I doubt it. We've not had the credits yet, so it's not the end of the game. No credits. Plus, you just said we have to fight her, and apparently I can't control myself here. Well, I wanted to explore the area. Oh, and they're apparently doing the credits now. The option to skip it. Yeah, might as well sit through them. While we're here, I guess now is a decent time time for uh, thoughts on the game. I've said it. I've said it throughout the game. I like the game. It's just I liked several of the things in Banjo Kazooie that I wish they had kept in here. Like I wish they had kept in the uh, automatic uh, health increase, but I see why you, I see why some people would like that. So you don't have to worry about um, not having too much health in like a challenge run or something like that. Um, let's see what else? Um, try to remember what else. Let's see. I missed the little animation you got when you got the jiggies, even though it does save a little bit of time, I guess, if you're speedrunning. Then again, this world, this game would be kind of tough to speedrun since it's a lot of uh, levels and areas. And areas are bigger by far than any of the levels in Banjo Kazooie. That, that was the other thing. Most of the levels in Banjo Kazooie, I think I just liked them a little better. Like, don't get me wrong, some of these worlds were pretty good. I liked Cloud Cuckoo Land at first. And then I realized it was all one central hub, and I couldn't find my find my way around. I couldn't find my way around through a lot of the areas, actually. A lot of them were just really good. Witchy World. I liked Witchy World, even though I was too dumb enough to know to uh, grenade egg everything. Let's see, Mayhem Temple? Ah, I wasn't too fond of it. Jolly Rogers Lagoon. I really liked the little town area. It reminded me of one of the race areas in Diddy Kong Racing, and I really liked it. Pterodactyl Land? I liked it. It was a... Uh, it was okay. I, I thought the dinosaur was going to be a boss fight. Uh, let's see. My temple, I don't like that one that much. Let's see. Then we got Glitter Gulch Mine. I think I think that's where I stopped playing the first time I played the game. I don't know why. I got bored of it or something. I mean, I like it now, but I didn't like it then for some reason. Grunty Industries? That was actually a pretty cool level. A lot of people said it would be a pain in the ass, but I thought it was fun. I liked it. So overall, I liked the worlds in this game. I just liked the feel of the worlds and the the first game better, especially, uh, especially, 
<coughs> especially a uh, bubble goop swamp and uh, bad monster man bad monster mansion and click clock woods i am i will say that i like the transformations in this game better since out of the, all the transformations in the last game only the crocodile had a transformation and he was or only had an attack and everything in this game had an attack so i thought that was pretty cool and hellfire peaks that was a good one uh, let's see so what else I can say? Kind of, kind of irritated that they uh, changed uh, Mumbo into the, into the, uh, from the Transformer into just the magic guy. And I don't know why they couldn't have just made Wumba the, the chick he ran around as. That would have been pretty cool. Mumbo could have kept his old job. He could have collected the Mumbo tokens, which I missed. I understand why, since we have enough collectibles in this game as it is. And that's, oh yeah, the other thing about this game. Okay, I don't hate first-person shooting games. I really don't. I don't mind them. I'm not good at them, but I don't mind watching someone play them if I'm over at their house or they're playing the game on a somewhere and I'm hanging out with them. I don't mind watching them, but do not force first-person shooter segments into my platforming game. That's like if I went into your first-person shooter game and suddenly said, oh, in order to get past this, in order to get past this level, you have to play a game of chess. You know how many people would throw conditions about that? Many people would be very pissed about that, because it's not what you wanted in the game. I mean, some things work in games. RPG elements, those tend to work in a lot of, like, shooter games. You, you, get, you can level up your guns, you can, uh, you can gain, you can gain ranks, so you have, uh, fair matches in multiplayer or something like that. Uh, platforming, that usually works pretty well in other games. Like, uh, again, you're in your Modern Warfare or whatever, and you can suddenly jump higher or something like that. I mean, obviously not too many platforms, but just sticking frickin' a first-person shooter segment into the into the middle of a platform in a platforming action adventure game that you don't tell anybody about, and then requiring them for 100% ass, yes, a real pain in the ass. I mean. You could have at least provided a map with the fucking first-person sections or something, because not only did you just force them on us, you made the the three areas extremely similar inside. Um, not not to each other, I mean. But okay, let's say uh, Clinker's Cavern, which is the one in uh, Grunty Industries. Half the time, you couldn't tell if he'd already been in a room unless there was a thing to destroy, because was so easy to get turned around and there just wasn't a lot of defining features on the walls. At least try to make it so that way it's not so easy to get lost in or something. So, I don't know, it's just irritating. But, overall, like I said, I like the game so far. I, I really liked all the new moves you got. That was one thing I really liked. You, you've got some new eggs. You didn't get any new feathers, which kind of sucked. You finally got the ability to climb on the, to uh, climb onto a ledge. I mean, you had the ability to climb on trees and stuff in the first game. That makes plenty of sense. So why don't you have the ability to grab onto a ledge? How does that make sense? I like the fact that you can split up and you got different different moves for each character. I'm not too fond of the fact that all of Bandil's moves revolved, revolved around his backpack and he couldn't just use his uh his bear swipe or his roll attack, but no, it's not that big of a deal. It's just something I would have liked to have from the first game. But I totally forgot to turn off Dragon Kazooie. Yeah, screw it. We'll keep her on. But, yeah, I liked all the new movement. I liked the Clockwork Eggs. Those were pretty cool, even though you didn't use them all that much. They, they, helped, uh, they helped to get a couple of Jiggies and Jinjos and stuff that might have been a pain in the ass otherwise. But, let's see, I like the... Uh, I like the grenade eggs, even though I never bothered to remember how to use them. Swimming was, swimming was still fine in this game. That's the one thing I liked about it. They didn't they didn't mess it up too much. Um, in the first game, it wasn't that bad, except for the fact that you had your limited amount of uh, air, which is fine. And you had several levels, like uh, like the steamboat level. I forget what that freaking level is called. Um, uh, Rusty Bucket Bay, where you occasionally had like double air taken away. I'm surprised they didn't have that in a few areas in this. Um, so they actually made the swimming still fun. I like that. I didn't mind it. I'm sure, occasionally you got turned around, but oh well. And the other thing that I really missed about the first game, I really missed the the sense of atmosphere. You had 
You had Grunty yelling at you every time you got hit or something. Um, so don't just stand there. There's still time to save my brother and... Hey, your brother's dead, isn't he? But... Can I pause this? No, I can't pause it. Okay. Yeah, but I really miss how Grunty would yell at you for various things, and I've missed her rhymes. I don't know why I miss her rhymes. And... You had her sister, who was not mentioned in this game, except for her other two sisters, who weren't mentioned in the first game. Um, Tootie, who had a major role in the first game, just on the side of a milk cart. So, I don't know, it's missed the atmosphere of the characters. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of fun characters in this game. Just, I miss the fact that they left out some of the characters from the first game for no reason, actually, like, at all. And it feels like they just got too lazy to bother with the keeping the rhymes up for Grunty, that's why they made her stop. Even though I liked them, I thought they were creative. And is this going to work? Is this going to turn Jingling back into a uh, person? I think it is. Okay, yeah, so those are my thoughts on the game. Honestly, uh, if, I, if, I would, if I would give Banjo-Kazooie um, a 9 out of 10, I would probably give this an 8 out of 10, just it's just dragged down by those first-person shooter segments that I can't stand. I mean, I, I understand that some people might like them, but they're just not for everybody, and it's just something I really wish wasn't in the game. Oh, and... Canary Mary, that bitch. So, yeah. But, enough about her. Oh, she apologized. Very good. Or, he apologized. And now we're gonna attempt to block... revive, uh bottles here, even though we're aiming at his, his hand instead of his face. Eh, same general area, I guess. Wait, so he's dead, but he's gonna come right back to life? I'm gonna assume that the game didn't take place over that many days. Maybe a couple days tops, maybe one day tops, since, uh... It never turned into nighttime, really. So he's only been dead for about a day, then? Yes, yeah, he's really late for his dinner, and Miss B Miss Bottles was talking about dinner earlier, so apparently it's all on the same day. And he appears to have burned food, which its eyes are still intact. And it blinked. Hey, he's oh, I thought wait, it's a fish, right? Hey, is that the fish that taught us how to swim? Hey, there's Jingling and Congo is still looking kind of ugly. Bear and Bird freed Congo from evil clutches of uh, mistress. Well, more like we kicked your ass until you decided on a career change. They saved me from an eternity as one of the undead. Hey, being, being an undead has its perks. So we come around to celebrate. Scones. I wouldn't mind a scone right about now. Scones are actually pretty good. Yeah, where's the real hero? Mistress escaped, so brave bear and bird going after her. Again. You know, now that her sisters are gone, she can probably start rhyming again, so maybe she'll be rhyming in the final battle? Maybe? Hey, a popper. This must be the end now. We've had the credits, and everyone's alright again. Alright, so let's go back to the party. Eh, forget Runty. Yep, no way up there, so we're gonna go back. Aw. I was hoping you hadn't noticed that. <laughs> okay, so let's explore around this area, see if we can't find anything here. We got health, which is always good. This looks kind of like the machine from the first game, except not. Oh, okay, never mind. It's a machine from this game. For some reason, I thought it looked like the machine that sucked out her, um, Tootie's life and 
Kazooie. Don't know why. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say we can't blow this up. No? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. No, don't you wonder, Wing. Um, let's see, we already... What's over here? With any luck, there's a few secrets in here. Can't be a whole lot. Um, let's see. Is this where we came in at? Oh, this is the game room. Tower of Tragedy Quiz. Anything fun in here? No? Nothing fun at all? Can't even see where she blasted off at. I wonder if you can talk to her sisters under there. No? Ah, oh, well. This must be where he answered the building from. Okay, yeah, I decided to make sure. So where's the, uh... Where's the room where we fought Kungo in? It just doesn't exist. Yay for fallproof. Is that who I think it is? Is that my buddy Dingpot from the first game? Of course I remember you. Oh, what, Ben, how do you not remember this guy? He gave you, like, the boost up to the final battle. This old stink pot. You're so cruel. But hey, why not jump inside for a nice dingy bonus? Um, okay, what's the bonus? Very nice. Jump inside me for a bonus. Okay, so he fills up all our eggs. That's pretty damn nice, actually. That works out pretty well. So we can use up all our eggs, and if we fail before the boss fight for whatever reason, we have a nice free heal point. That's pretty useful. That's a lot better than uh, him just farting us out to the battle zone. Dingpot, you're a good man. I like you. I don't care how much you smell, I like you. Even if you are, you used to clean grunty, sturdy socks. Wait a second. So did she actually grab him from the old place and bring him over here? Let's see. Oh, I'm guessing that's how we get up there. Oh, here's the giant laser beam. I wonder if we can see anything down here. Okay, a whole lot of nothing. Just the pools of doom down there. Hey, here's a warp pad. Okay, now so we can just teleport up here. What does this say? I have already opened this door for you. Uh, it was supposed to tell me the uh, the area name. Okay. Um, was there another side to this that we could have gone up? I just want to make sure because usually there's two sides, but okay, apparently not. Anyways, enough dicking around. Let's get to the Gruntilda final battle. I kind of thought we'd have to fight our sisters, too, but oh well. Looks like there's no one here. We should go home now. Sounds good. One heck of a view. Yeah, it's a pretty high up view. I like it. Except it's all yellow down there. Excuse me. Obviously, chicken out. I've enjoyed our adventures, but let's go. Let's get back to the card game. Wait, so you can steal more bird seed from uh, bottles or Mumbo. That reminds me, Mumbo's been an asshole. I mean, we're good buddies and playing cards with him. Monstrous Mechanical Mud Muncher. Okay, we're playing cards with him and stuff, and he still charges us to change him into various helps. Not as much as the last game, but. Hag one. I'm sure it wasn't that big before. It was pretty big, but I think this might be bigger now. So it's apparently been upgraded. And this looks like quite the battle here. Finally, after two years. Revenge time. Alright, so how do we beat this chick? Where's the 
Laser. There's no one in there to pass you a manual. Okay. So I'm gonna guess we have to, uh... Stay away from the lasers. Thought the quiz was over, did you? Think it, you're gonna quiz me in the middle of a battle? I've still got quite a few question cards up my sleeve. Answer correctly, and maybe I'll go a little easier on you. That's nice of you. What is the name of my beautiful life-sucking gun? Uh, that was B.O.B. -B. I forget what it stands for, but it's B.O.B. -B. That's correct. I'll only use my slower attack now. Prepare yourself for an unhealthy dose of spells. Let's fight. Okay, so I guess you have to damage her by... Uh, apparently... Apparently, uh... This way. Okay, so you damage her when she comes up for air like that. Gotcha. And I'm gonna take a wild guess so you can't damage the uh, machine right here. So uh, let's keep the uh, fire eggs for the unlimitedness. Why was Big Terry unhappy? Uh, his eggs had been his nuts had been stolen. That was the guy from the last game, actually. I think that had his nuts stolen. Not very easy to hit, are you? Doesn't seem all that hard, I just can't hit the whole bag. And hopefully she drops health, because I'm taking hits. If not, oh well. Um, I missed I didn't even see the we'll be facing my faster attack now. That's not good. I didn't even see the question there, chick. You know what? Ooh, you're one nil to the pesky bear. More lasers are, what? More lasers. Okay, so she has a new attack pattern every 10 health. Anyways, I was gonna say I was gonna switch over to the grenade eggs now, so let's get to that. Ah, that's a lot of lasers. Ow. Who is on the front of the Banjo Tui arcade box? Uh, Banjo Kazooie and. Uh, ba I have no idea. Okay, these take off three health, and the uh, fire eggs take off two, so apparently this is the way to go. Who lives in the enormous egg just outside my hip temple? That was, uh, Peggy. Not a very exciting battle, just gotta watch out for this. Just gotta watch out for the flames, but not all that difficult. Just gotta watch out for the lasers, and that's about it. He thinks time for something new. Um, plenty more tricks left in this beauty. Activate the mortar, wait, mortar cannon. Isn't that a bit overkill there, Peggy? No? And okay, they appear to bomb and split. That's not good for my health. Okay, less attacking me, more attacking you. Where could Chuffy the train not go to? Um, could have go to Dolly Riders a good one. There we go. Uh, turn around. Okay. I have no health left, I'm gonna die. This is pretty damn cheap. I might end up having to put that damn health code back on. Alright. 
Don't tell me I gotta start all the way from square one. I think I do. Yeah. I'm on the pad, you little bastard. Be quiet. Let's see, top of the tower. Oh, Dingpot. Mr. Dingpot, I need your... Oh, oh, I was gonna go get my stuff refilled. Okay, never mind. Just shut that hatch and let's get on with it. Fair enough. I gotta start all the way from the beginning. Are you serious? You sold burgers in Witching World. That was uh, Big Al. Okay, whose bright idea was to make the final boss of the platform game a shooter? Bad enough, I have to deal with it in the game without having to have the final boss be a sh fucking shooter. What the fuck is this bullshit? That's like having a Call of Duty player's last boss fight be the Final Fantasy boss. What was the name of the first game I started? Uh, Bedrick Zooey. That's like having a guy who's playing Call of Duty have his last fight be it. Hey, I guess you can't take her down below 90. Hit. Okay, level. I know you're going to bust out your laser. That's just cheap. I need the A, I need the health. Actually, I don't need the health yet, do I? If I don't get it now, it'll probably disappear, won't it? Okay, let's turn around. What is the national sport in my empty levy uh, Turn around, dude. Did I get her? Yes, I got her. Okay, I didn't hear what you were trying to say since you did it so quickly, so screw you. Firepower, bring out the what the other mortar can? What the heck? Double bombs. Why do you need two bombs? One bomb is good enough, guy. Give me more health. I need more health. I might have to actually go put the, the health cheat back on since this, this is a dastardly fight. What are Banjo Kazooie doing on the Banjo Two arcade box? They're playing cards. I don't know. So we only have 10 grenades left. Oh, what? That's a little bullshit. Okay, you know what? Screw you. I'm getting my damn health back. I don't give a fuck. You want to be a cheap little bitch with your fucking first-person shooter bullcrap in the final boss? Well, fuck you too, Brandy. You want to be cheap? Fine, I'll be cheap. Dear people at Rare, fuck you. You do not need to make a, fu a final boss in a fucking platformer. A motherfucking first-person shooter, you worthless piles of shit. You want to be cheap little bastards by doing this bullshit? Fine, I'll be cheap little bastard by doing this bullshit. I would rather have done it the right way, but you want to be cheap little piles of shit? Then fuck you too. Forget the 8 out of 10 I said earlier. Make this like a 6 out of 10. You do not make the final fucking boss 
of a motherfucking platformer, a fucking first person shooter, you worthless little shits. This is just pissing me off now. I really don't want to play this game anymore after this. Fuck this, I mean. That's just a little fucking bullshit. I'm not gonna quit playing the game at the final boss, obviously, but I'm not gonna want to replay it for a fucking while now. This combined with Canary Marys is pissing me off. Well, I guess it early, that's like taking fucking Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and making the main multi the main final area in the campaign fucking a four party RPG fight. This is fucking ridiculous. If I wanted to play a first person shooter, I would be playing Modern Warfare, or Call of Duty, or Battlefield, or some other bullshit like that. Not fucking Banjo fucking Kazooie. Dinkpot, you wanna give me you wanna give me some health, buddy? Or not some health with some eggs. At least Dinkpot's the same. At least Dinkpot's here. He feels my pain, right, buddy? Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Alright, let's get out. Are there even any feathers in here? Like, can I use, like, gold feathers without... What color... Your per scarf's a purple chick. Can I use gold feathers without... I mean, just... Can I get her? Yes. Can I use gold feathers easily without having to worry about running out? Or should I just stick to dodging like I am? I don't see any feathers around here. I see a bunch of eggs, but eh, feathers just got in the shaft again, I guess. And I guess you can't stand on that. I'm gonna try to stand on that to avoid the thing. What is the name of the local magical creature or the uh, Globo? Did she say global for one of the options? Mortars? Not the mortars. I don't like the mortars. The mortars are little bastards. Ooh, two health. And that thing was out to get me. Where was the switch for the burger stand in which... That was on top of the uh, ticket booth. Wasn't it? No? Okay, Banjo, I was facing her, so why'd you turn around? Orders. I'm gonna take a while, I guess, to say next she's gonna double orders and double lasers or some 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 kind of combination of that. I don't know. I wanted the eh, fine. Let's use ice eggs, I guess, since that's what I was aiming for. But okay. Where could Chuffy the train? Yeah, uh, Dolly Rogers. Okay. Okay. Will you stop turning around? Be the 
grenade eggs, please. No. There we go. Okay, why does Banjo keep turning around though after every single fucking little cutscene? I'm facing I'm facing the witch, but what are Banjo and Kazooie doing on the main cars, I think? I don't know. But uh why does you keep turning around? Oh, we got her. Very nice. What's this gonna do now? Fetch the cannons back in. Open the exhaust port. Oh yes, feel the power of that V10 beast. I don't think there are many. I don't. I don't think there actually are many, very many V10s out in the out on the road. I think most of them are V8s. And okay, so he's got the laser, and apparently whatever that is. What are you doing anyways? Because I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what she's doing here, but obviously she has some kind of plan. Which of you take part in the multiplayer quiz? Um, let's try these three. I don't know. Ice eggs don't seem to do as much damage, but they do have the homing effect that the uh, grenade eggs seem to have lack. But the grenade eggs do have the splash effect, so that helps. What's wrong with this machine? It's going straight back. Straight back to the garage after this. Oh, it's not working like you planned. It's not my fault. The, the gearbox must be faulty. Okay, if you insist. Wait, are you talking to yourself in there? I think she is. Ooh, look, that little hatch right there is open. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say we gotta stick our clockwork eggs in there at some point. So, let's get these guys up and out. And, try this. Not sure if this will work, but apparently it will. So, what do you say we, uh,. I'm gonna take a while, I guess, to say we have to destroy these batteries. What did they say? They're diamond max power. Yeah? I heard an explosion. What's that burning smell? Okay, so we gotta destroy the. Okay, easy enough. Wait for her to stop, and then we can destroy her little battery things for some reason, I don't know. Stay over here, because that's where the hatch is. I need to stay in the hatch. No? Okay. What cards did you have during your stupid little card? I have no idea. I think it was one of the Jack, though, so I'm just going to select that. I don't know. I didn't pay a lot of attention. Okay, ice eggs. Do some, uh, damage to buddy. At least it's not like a Bandit Kazoo where you can fall off the edge. There appears to be a glass door here. So we appear to be safe from that fate or death. Okay, I need that health, even though I have my regen health. Uh, let's see. Oh, you little bastard. Okay, what are you doing, chick? Nope. There we go, I feel better. Ah, oh, no, you messed it up. Damn it. Okay, so... She's not gonna make it easy on me, obviously. Bastard. It'd be nice if she did, but... Come on. At any point, you wanna stop. There you go, just like that.
no, come here, come here, come here. Ah, you son of a bitch. This was, this is actually a lot harder without the uh, regen. I'm surprised. Then I guess it's more cheap hard, good hard, like first fight. Damage at certain points, which is. There we go. Alright. Mr. Mr. Battery Pack. What the fuck, dude? Her little minion attack me. You little bastard. That's not fair. Uh, I guess it is. All's fair in love and killing Gratilla, I guess. Make it past the uh, the minions of doom this time, shall we? There we go. Oh no, we're losing power. No, don't stop, Mr. Drill. My lovely lasers. Can someone phone for a tow truck? I've had enough. We fight to the death. Okay, so. So no more, uh, what call it? No more rounds, just kill you. You know what? Where's my grenade eggs? There we go. Okay, I guess not. Have we got any more tricks left? No? The minions? What minions? I guess those minions. I wonder if I wonder if you kill them in the uh, in the tank if they come back out. Why didn't I think of this earlier? Release the toxic gas. Mm, cyanide and mustard gas flavor. My favorite. Greg, you guys, weird fetishes. Luckily, we got plenty of, uh. Did I get her? Okay, numbskulls. Time for the biggest, baddest spell I can muster. Prepare to join your buddy bottles. Wait, he's back to life, though. You wish you'd never taken on the mighty Gratilda. Gratilda Winky Bunnion? Winky Bunnion? Don't go tell anyone or I'll sue you. So whatever you say, Winky. Winky Bunnion? That's uh, quite the last name you got there. And yeah, we got her. Drop your spell. Quick, somebody get rid of it before it... I guess it explodes. Ooh, we got the achievement for beating the game. Fantastic. Oh, we sure showed old Winky Bunny again. <laughs> hey, Banjo. Let's get down to bottles for that party. I'll, I'm gonna say it again. I'm not very pleased with the final boss. It's I would much prefer to straight up grunty fight instead of having to deal with that. Seems a bit quiet for a party. Hey Humble, you looking good, looking good. Hey Mumbo, you looking kinda thin. Hey bottle boy, where's the party? Well, it's finished, I'm afraid. That Kongo sure was hungry. <laughs> He's eating everything in the house. Mumbo wanted to boogie. They left you some cake, Humba. No? Big heat bummer. What do you mean my fault? You should have dealt with the bony crone. What do you mean quicker? 
I had to collect like 80 jiggies before I could get to her. Well, at least I wasn't hiding in my silos like a coward. Why, you feathered... Oh, 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 oh. Useless Mumba hit in Wigwam 2. And she turned me into all sorts of creatures. And they could actually do stuff with, like, the stuff you turned me into. Be summoned gold statue to kick up. You're calling Humbo, you're calling Humba ugly? Stop it, all of you. You can go outside if you, if you want to argue. <laughs> Clunk goes still, snoring away. Kazooie's got a better idea. Go back playing cards, me. Does anyone fancy a kick around? What's, what do you mean by kick around? I have no idea what you're talking about, Kazooie. And this is the first time, uh, I was going to say this is the first time we've seen Jam Jars out of his silo, but I guess he stood on his silo every once in a while, so that kind of counts. This is the first time we see Wumba actually move. Are we playing kickball with Grunty's head? So we're using her head as a hacky sack? This is awesome. And it appears to still be alive. That is awesome. That's one way to defeat a witch. Kill her and then use her head as a fucking ball. Eyes fell out. Nice. Ooh, I think her eye just fell out. Baby, how is she still alive? She's the most durable thing like ever. And hey, uh, Blubbo with uh, a UFO. Awesome. Good for him, I guess. I guess he doesn't need a wave racer anymore. And we beat it. Yay! I'm happy. We're finally finished with Banjo Tooie, then I guess. But you know what? Let's uh, let's see. Um, they said there was gonna be a special video in the cinema section, so let's check that out real quick. Let's see. How do I get to the cinema? Oh, the cinema. There we go. Let's see what we got. Uh, opening story, King Jingling. Grunty defeated credits. Oh, the character parade. Oh, that's like uh, from Banjo Kazooie. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna just do that with the. Uh, I'm gonna do that with the. With the music, since that's probably gonna take a while, and we're at over an hour here. So, guys, thank you for watching our let's play of Banjo Tooie. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, except for all the first-person shooter stuff. But other than that. Other than that, I actually enjoyed it. Just, I wish they hadn't made the final boss uh, shooter, but oh well. But guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on my other two Let's Plays, and then any other Let's Plays I do after that. So guys, have a good one.